Mmm, I'm parking in LA. So I'ma send an Uber to your place. It's my secret safe. Mm, safe with just you. Nobody can tell me that God is not patient. This girl with you, he took his time. Hi guys, good morning. Long time no see. Today I decided to start a new vlog. I don't know. Hope it goes well. Lately I have been very demotivated at the way my videos. I will kill this chicken. <laughs> I've been very demotivated at the way my videos have been performing and I have not been inspired to start a vlog, but here I am starting a vlog. Today's Sunday. Oh, first of all, hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here you're highly welcome my name is zara i'm a medical doctor based in lagos nigeria today is sunday and i'm on call so hence the scrub look and i'm off to work i am going to be late very soon so i'll just quickly grab my breakfast i'll go and then i think i'll talk to you guys in the hospital and like bring you guys up to speed when i get there let's have a good vlog hi guys since i got to work i haven't been able to sit down and talk to you i'm still not able to sit down and talk to you it's been a very very busy day it's been a hell of a day it is 5 45 right now like pm and all i have been doing today is documenting taking samples mop-ups and it's just crazy um on weekends we round on all our patients that we have i'm still currently in ong i said i was going to talk to you guys but i'm just using this opportunity to do a brief chit chat so on weekends we round on all patients in the department of ong whether it's in fetal maternal unit reproductive and endocrine unit zero gyne all the four units that are in ong we round we see all the patients and we document for all the patients and by we i mean the team on call that is the senior registrar the registrars it could be one or two registrars today we have two registrars and two house officers so usually the house officers and sometimes the registrars will do the documentation we had a total about of about i think 20 something patients to document for so you can see how crazy so it includes documentation carrying out all the plans that have been documented that's more pop if there are any samples to be taken or anything like that so that's what we have been doing basically and then we had um a pregnant woman walking to the labor ward we are, we also covered the labor ward when we on call we also covered the gynec emergency when we on call so we see all the patients in the ward we see anybody who comes into the labor ward and we see anybody who comes into the gynec emergency we had a patient who came into the labor ward um when monitoring labor and eventually turned into ACS. So that's what has been happening today. What else? Um, yeah, I guess that is what I just wanted you guys to bring you guys up to speed. Right now, I'm trying to document the history that I just took. And after that, I have a patient to see in the emergency, and I have two more patients to prep for surgery tomorrow. So it's going to be a hell of a night. I'm, from now on, I'm just praying that nobody comes to the emergency because I still have a lot of more pops to do. When I say I, I don't just mean me. I mean me and the other house officer will call. So we still have a lot of more pops to do. In this vlog, this vlog is going to be um, a combination of things because today is only, like I said, tomorrow. I mean, my last few weeks of house job <laughs> oh my god it feels so crazy to see but i'll be done with house job pretty soon and um close to the ending of house job we have a compulsory one week emergency rotation like proper proper a and e rotation compulsory one week and my compulsory one week of a and e rotation starts tomorrow so this vlog is actually supposed to be um an a and e rotation it's a whole week of hair and irritation, so 
yeah this vlog is actually a week in the emergency but because i'm on call today i wanted to start out the vlog because i don't know how tomorrow is going to look like how crazy it's going to be i don't know if i'll be able to start a vlog properly and introduce the vlog properly so that's why i decided to start the vlog today so yeah i will still keep you guys posted if anything is happening on this end i need to quickly get back to my documentation because time is of the essence. Hi guys, I wasn't able to talk to you guys yesterday um, when I got back home. So yesterday was Monday and I told you guys earlier that on Monday I'll be starting my um, emergency rotation, my casualty rotation because I'm literally in the last few weeks of house job and um, yesterday was in, yesterday was like orientation day it wasn't such like it wasn't a bad one but i was just super stressed because i was on call the day before um i was super stressed by like one by 2 p.m i was already really exhausted i was getting really slow and sloppy but i pushed through so yes there was so there are two there are always two house officers on um casualty rotation um so yesterday was the orientation day introduction day yesterday was the day that we you know got to know how the casualty runs and what's expected of us and stuff like that we just basically entered into what we had to do because we're not like we're senior house officers um well in our last few weeks of house job so um certain things are not new to us um, so yeah, I worked till about 4 p.m. yesterday before I finally came home. So how the casualty works, so how casualty works in general is that you come by 10, thankfully, <laughs> and you walk up until the next morning after you finish handing over, which is going to be like 12. Handover starts from 10 to like maybe 12 or 1, depending on how much people are in the emergency um so yeah then you get that day off or the half day off because it's not a full day because you're leaving by like 12 or 1 maybe even 2 sometimes and um you're coming back the next day so it's like alternate day call alternate day call and presence and everything so if you're working on a monday the next day you're going to work is on a tuesday you are not working on a sorry on a wednesday you're not working on tuesday but you're going to be available that tuesday morning to hand over all the cases that you saw overnight so that's how the a and e works so currently i'm not at work because um the my partner the other person with me is starting today because i was on call on sunday it was so crazy um so the person starting today so i'm going to work tomorrow so basically i have the entire day free and i'm expected to be at work tomorrow morning by 10. i'm going to go before 10 but at least by 10 i should be in the hospital because rounds emergency rounds starts by 10. right now i want to do a little bit of planning it's a new month guys happy new month i want to do a little bit of planning and organizing and all that good stuff then i have a lot of things to do today actually my hands are quite full i have to get some deliveries done like my business if you guys don't know i'm a perfumer i sell perfumes and all that good stuff so i have to deliver quite a lot of orders today some i'm going to be doing myself some i'm not going to be doing myself um because the person is close to me like it's a personal delivery and um what else do i have to do yeah i have to film a lot of content because i have been slacking on my content game and i want to see if i can use this week before i return back to ong to kind of like fix that um yeah to fix that to create more content to that's what i've been doing all day i first of all i journaled then i am planning for my content i also have to do like um some business photos 
for tiktok and instagram you guys i have not been using instagram to do my business and i feel like it is taking me back by a few years i think someone messaged me from i think tiktok i don't think it's instagram but anyway i need to set up my instagram like i need to throw that fear into the river because instagram always like i don't know how it works i don't know if my page was hacked or like instagram brought down my page i don't know but my page is always something is always happening to my page my instagram business page and i am so exhausted and tired of starting all over and all over and I, like do you know how, that's why i just stick to tiktok but i need to overcome that fear and post even if they take it down i'll open on that one and post again because sales on instagram is sales on instagram sales anywhere is sales anywhere so yeah i have to do that i also have to structure my um website my business website oh i forgot to close it down not close it down like make it invisible right and so that i can do all the work i have to do on it after that then what else just a bunch of things that i have to do i'll keep you guys in the loop as you know the day progresses so i slept for the better part of today and i'm having a late lunch i'm having spaghetti plantain and a glass of wine for lunch and after that i'm going to get back right into work so that i can go to work it's already past nine i don't know how <laughs> it's past nine and i'm not ready for work but um i'm just going to eat really quickly and start getting ready so i can get to work on time before 10 hopefully and begin the day i'm on call today till tomorrow i already told you guys how a and e rotation works so that's what's happening today i feel like this oats is not going to do anything to me but hopefully by the time i'm hungry it's like lunch time so i can get food to eat please help anyway i'll talk to you guys more later when i'm ready so head out guys i'm ready to go i'm already late and i need to hurry so i'll see you guys in the hospital bye just having breathing space since morning it has been work 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 the emergency basically work 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 right now we've handed over to the respective um specialties so basically we have the first um point of contact for any patient that walks into the emergency then we hand over to like whoever was supposed to hand over to surgical team medical team etc but we see the patient First. and finishing all the patients we've handed over for now they might still more might still come i hope not <laughs> but 
just having lunch by past 6 p.m. right now. I got rice, jello, firewood jello rice with some plantains and chicken from Currency Grills. You guys know that Currency Grills is my number one spot because their food always bangs and is affordable. Hmm. Hmm. Tastes like party jello. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just going to eat now. I have some juice with me. I'm going to eat rest a bit before going back to the A and Hopefully, by the time I go back, I'm not seeing that, so I can rest. Mm. 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 That's it. That's why it's bring you up speed. So I have attended to all the patients that came. I actually mostly saw medical cases, and then I handed over to MTU. So I reviewed with the casualty officer. Um, reviewed my plan with her, just in case there was any other plan, any other like investigation or medication I needed to add. Then after that, I write to MCOC immediately so they can see the patients and do more like specific, specific things for the patients. Anyway, that's what I've been doing all day. I'm so excited that tomorrow, I literally get like time for my 12 p.m. I should start going home tomorrow. Yeah. Hi guys. Good morning. Good morning. How you guys doing? I feel like this camera is bent in a certain way. I don't know. Um, today is Friday. <laughs> when I came back yesterday, I couldn't talk to you guys. I was flushed. I was exhausted. I just took a shower, ate, and just slept till like maybe seven. I should have spoken to you guys by seven. I don't know. But anyway, anywho. Um, today's Friday and I'm on duty again for the whole 24 hours. It's currently 9.20 or something like that and I'm getting ready to head to the hospital. Getting ready to head to the hospital and then we do our A&E and &E rounds then. Um, what else do I want to say? Then yeah, I work for 24 hours. Hopefully today I can bring you guys along with me to see what we do. Yeah. To so see, I don't know if I should do like a back, but I think I'll do that. I think I'll take everything back. I think I will do that. But anywho, um, like I said, I'm just getting ready to go to work leave the next person i don't know if i'm a fan of this a and e rotation but anyway it's just one week so it shouldn't really like have a say but i don't think i'm a fan like like yesterday now when i came back i just slept and again i'm off again today like the break i thought i had the break i thought i had or the one day off i thought i have wasn't really like a one day off because um I'm just going to use it to sleep mostly. Never really get anything like tangible done. I guess today I wanted to film some videos. I couldn't do that. So you see why I'm not a fan of this A and E rotation. Anyway, I'll be done on Sunday. My last rotation will be on Sunday. And then I'll go back to regular programming. Ready to be done with this phase of my life ready to be done with this phase of my life and just move on I can't wait honestly I cannot wait ouch baby 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 would you go ahead and just cry this song has been stuck in my head since I heard it on TikTok. I haven't listened to the whole song. I don't know if I'll listen to the whole song. I'm just here because of the hook. I feel like that's the hook of the song. At least on TikTok. 
I think the name is Tears or something. I don't know. But yeah. This is the reason why I don't like doing this like slick bun taking my hair back from here. Can I do like because this hair is short? Well, I'm so high. Actually, finish this because it's very. This is how small it is. Mm. So I have some jello fries with chicken. This was supposed to come in like a paper box, if I remember correctly. Like Buka Hut delivers in gold. Delivers gold packs in a paper box. I don't know why I don't know if you order. This from Buka Hut is like this, and I ordered this from Global. I don't know something was. 
room with y'all that hot. Officer and that was my camera. Okay, this is better. Ah, much better. Casualty officer and assistant. Hello, casualty officer. Oh my god, almost all of us are on call. But we've not been on call with you guys, though. It's mostly three of us. Yeah, Hello. Let's Hi guys, so welcome to Zara's YouTube channel because I know this is for YouTube. Yeah? So my name is Ocho. Uh, I didn't know you. In case you've not seen me before, I'm Zara's friend in this hospital. We know our way. Uh, hey, please edit this part. We know each other from way, way, way back. You know. I think I've talked too much now. Well, mwah. see you guys later. Wait, see you. <laughs> Yes, that will soon be an emo. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I need to braid my hair. Hold up. Hold up. Hi guys. How are so, you? So me, I'm the talkative. I'm here again. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, who said you are the talkative? Was it Yeah. Yeah. E. MTOC. MTOC, baby. My God will rescue okay. me. Okay. Yeah. I'm not telling you that. Why don't we wonder this why the God will rescue me? Let's keep the same energy. <laughs> crazy 24 hours um got back from work this morning i actually got back because i had a few errands to run within the hospital i did that and then i got back like around maybe 
1 p.m and immediately i got back i had to quickly shower eat and rush out again because i needed to go to the salon and braid my hair i was like it was turning into an emergency <laughs> i was a cry for help you know i looked like a cry for help um so i made my hair already i have it in a bonnet i'll show you guys tomorrow forgive me i don't have the energy to take this off right now because it is past 10 p.m i came back by nine because i got there late i got there by three and we started the hair by like 4 p.m so imagine if we finished the hair around officially around eight past eight so it took me like four hours plus to make the hair but then you know the finishing touches the water the trimming all those things mm -hmm. took me like an extra 30 minutes or less so I fi finally got home around like past 9, 9.30-ish. So I was like, I'm exhausted. I'm tired. I need to eat and then sleep. I thought I would be able, I thought I would come back. That was yesterday. <laughs> yesterday, I thought I would go to the salon earlier or get to the salon earlier, be done with my hair at least by 6 p.m. I'll come back home, rest a bit, then plan a video to film. But... You know life happens the way life is supposed to happen and um i didn't come back as early as i thought i would so i don't think i'm going to be filming any video because tomorrow is my last day in the emergency i'm definitely going to be carrying you guys along hopefully um more intensely than i have done the past few days maybe talk to you guys about some of the cases that i see in the emergency i don't know let's see how that goes so tomorrow i'll probably take you like on a full 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 day because it's my last day official last day tomorrow is sunday by the way um yeah so also tomorrow i'll show you what my hair looks like i really love my hair really really love it um yeah tomorrow i'll tell you things about the hair when tomorrow comes but yeah um i just re really needed to check in really quickly oh yeah i did my nails also you guys at this point you should know that i am a red fingernails girly and a white toenail girl so i have a red here and white on my toenails um but yeah i just want to come and update you guys on what is happening so the vlog still continues i'll see you tomorrow and then i'll probably end it maybe sunday night or like monday morning when my shift is over i don't know let's see how it goes hi guys it's a new day today is sunday my last day in emergency rotation and it's time to get ready for work i'm going to be a bit late because it's currently raining so we're gonna we're not gonna take our time but we're kind of gonna take our time because it's raining i can't live under the rain um but yeah last day in emergency i don't know why i'm singing but let's get ready for work <laughs>
I can't go be early again. Let me show you guys the fragrance of the day. So I have this Monogotas Fresher. It's like in body mist. I just use it all over my body. I like how fruity, fruity. I like how fruity this smells. It smells fruity, a little bit of flowery. I love it. Absolutely love it. My but my lotion is floral, fruity floral. Um, it's jasmine peach, the EOS jasmine peach, and then this, and then my body my body wash is also like floral, so they pair well together. This is Heba by Latafa. No, 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 sorry guys, I'm supposed to put my oil in. This is a concoction of oil. I love how this smells. I love how I smell when I'm in this. So I usually do oil first, then top off with like perfume. It's running too much. This is an empty um, skincare bottle, serum bottle, that I turned into <laughs> a perfume bottle because. I didn't have any other thing to use. I like to even put this on my clothes, so I'm gonna put it in my pocket. So the smell is going to emanate from there. Put it under my arm. Just in case, if you're not sure if your perfume or your oils are going to stay in your clothes, just put it in hidden areas so that even though it stains it, like nobody sees it. Then I'm going to top up with my perfume. This is my perfume for the day. This is also very floral, very feminine. It's going to go everywhere. If you want your perfume to smell more, spray more. 
cup just came off. This is my outfit of the day. I'm wearing jeans. I'm wearing jeans and this t-shirt. Cause it is the weekend. I don't know what I have. When I came back I didn't have energy to wash. My, I haven't had time to wash my scrubs. So all my scrubs are dirty. I'm just going to wear a lap coat over this. If necessary, I don't think it will be necessary for me to wear a lap coat. But if I must, I'll just wear a lap coat over there. Wear lap coat to bed. And yeah, we work like that. So I'm heading out till tomorrow afternoon when I will be back. My scrunchie, mini scrunchie, just in case I need to like hold my hair back. Here is the final outfit. I have my very small, cute bag from Miniso. Uh, I'll kill this chicken. These jeans are ASOS. Twisted but ASOS. Um, regular regular t-shirt. An event t-shirt actually. Then I have my pink Crocs. As you can tell, I am in love with the color pink. If you don't know at this moment. I'm going to wear my hair down like this. And when I get to the hospital, I would... Pack, pack. <laughs> when I get to the hospital, I would, you know, pack it appropriately. So that it will not hinder my walk. But this is the fit. Let us go to work. see how like the a and e works i haven't forgotten i have just been slightly busy and i've been able to take you guys along with me as i thought i would but it hasn't really been so busy we've seen a few patients since morning sorted them out and sent their medication um yeah after seeing them like i said i don't know if i said it in this video at some point but by the first of by the first contact patients have when we come to the hospital in the emergency then we see and we call the appropriate um, specialty if it's medical team on call medical team on call we'll see if it's surgical team on call if the patient is to be managed in the a and e, like for observation and stuff like that like hypertensive emergency and maybe enteritis we can do that so that's what we've been doing most of the day i don't know why i look dark i don't like no, this is worse <laughs> this is better i think but yeah anyway i just want to eat something really quickly i don't know what's for dinner for lunch we had rice for dinner i think it's going to be swallow i'm not a fan but Let's just see, shall. let's see how it goes. I took a mini break and now I am heading. Sorry, I took a mini break and now I am heading back to the A and E to see if there's any emergency. Our beds are full, shall. We cannot really take anybody at the moment that needs like a proper like space, like bed space. So we just optimize and refer. So let me see if there's anything happening currently in the emergency. That I promised to show you that is what my hair looks like, and I didn't, I forgot to do that this morning when I left for work. But yeah, this is what we are currently working with. I am scared, I'm not going to lie, I'm scared for these coils that they are going to tangle, but I have used. I have coily weeds. Those, those ones are like human hair, human hair. This is not human hair. <laughs> but I think I can work with it. <laughs> oh Lord, help me. 
I think the trick to taking care of this hair is not packing it. Because once you just put it in a bun or something, it just loses its whole training. And like, okay, you want me to stay together? I will stay together. I think that's the trick from what I have seen. I had this hair flying in the morning. But when it was time to like do good work, I had to put it in a like a bun or something. But anyway, this is what the hair looks like. Let me show you what the back looks like. This is what it looks like at the back. Can you see? Anyway, I just wanted to make sure that I kept to my promise and show you guys what it looks like. <laughs> guys, I am already in my room. Did I just in my room? I'm already in the call room because we are donish for the nine. Um all our beds are filled up in the emergency. There's currently no bed space, so we cannot even take anybody that comes. We can just, if we can resuscitate, we resuscitate, and then we repair. That's the best we can do, right? So, um, what I want to tell you guys, yeah, I want to talk about some of the cases that I managed. I know I said I was going to take you guys along with me to the best of my abilities, but I don't know even I don't even know why I thought that because. It's the emergency and when you're working you're like working to be done quickly to give the best best aid that you can give do you understand so today i saw um well my diagnosis was tia without tia tia is transient ischemic attack tda is cerebrovascular accident and that's stroke basically so tia is like the junior brother of stroke it's a mini stroke <laughs> it's like warning you that you might have a stroke if you're not careful something like that like it says transient it's not for long like in 24 hours the symptoms you resolve it might give you the same symptoms as like a stroke will give you inability to walk inability to move hand and stuff like that but after the day like after hours you start seeing the two relief you'll be able to do what you couldn't do like let's say you couldn't raise this hand up after like a few hours you'll be able to like move it to a certain extent and by 24 hours usually it resolves but a CT scan will for sure rule out um a CDA like a stroke happening so always important to do like a stroke take proper history examine your patient very well um and then um do like scans and investigation that will help you Say for sure what is what and it also help in the management if the CT scan comes out and says oh it is like a stroke the and like says the type of stroke it is management would have to like shift one way or the other not like a lot but it would affect the management whatever the CT scan says so yeah that I saw I also saw a case of enteritis which we for the CVA we obviously have to you know call the medical team on call because it will eventually be like a neurology case then the enteritis we can manage it and it, all we had to do was we hydrate give some antibiotics um give some like supplement zinc and or whatnot ors and the rest then take samples obviously um so that happened i saw a lot of ckd cases I don't know i did nephrology i finished nephrology like maybe like three months ago it's not the three months like two months plus ago and it's like when i started this a and e they just rang the bell and they're like ckd patients all right in casualty you know nephro patients all right in casualty if you have any complaint complain now because every on all my calls on most of my calls most of the patients that i some not most of my say some of the patients that I managed when I was in nephrology, I saw them present to the emergency, right? So I'm just wondering why. Speaking of which, I feel like this is the best time to even talk about this. Let's talk a bit about high blood pressure 
that's hypertension you guys hypertension is real you should check your blood pressure even if you're in your 20s i mean you should start checking your blood pressure and making sure that everything okay especially if you work in healthcare honestly because it can be so easy to forget to take care of yourself as a healthcare worker you're taking care of other people you're checking blood pressure for other people you're checking um rbs stars random blood sugar for other people but you're not doing that for yourself you should actually own a twig at home if you don't own a twig at home make good use of the opportunity um of the um, opportunity that you work in the hospital and check your blood pressure always at least even if you do it once or twice a week i mean it's better than not doing it at all um i try to check my blood pressure at least maybe once in two weeks or something but i know it's fine but it's not just about knowing that it's fine it's about actually checking to know that it's fine so yeah check your blood pressure i've seen young people I didn't even know that they had hypertension and somehow 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 it ended up with them having ckd like i've seen 20 something like people in their late 20s it's crazy it doesn't make sense and it also, a lot of time people beat themselves up and they're like oh my god how did i not know that i had you know high blood pressure how did i not know how did i not know that's why it's called the silent killer if you don't know if you're not intentional about it you're not going to know like it's not going to nobody's going to whisper to you or ex except you come to the hospital and um we just find out that oh wow your blood pressure is high you are you a known hypertensive and stuff like that and you say no and we're like okay you know what let's check it again and we check it again and we see that oh your blood pressure is consistent here yeah. i've seen people who walk into the hospital with 230 something over 100 and something and they're just walking like you know all is well and all is fine they don't know that they actually have high blood pressure it's because people don't check Nigeria is the country is very people are stressed right the poverty rate is increasing people are trying to double their hustle every single day just to make ends meet the least you can do for yourself honestly is to check your blood pressure because hypertension uncontrolled hypertension can lead to a lot of things it can cause stroke that's the CDA I just spoke about it can cause um, CKD yes can cause CKD and it can cause numerous heart problems so you know check your blood pressure today and if you're hypertensive it's very important that you are drug compliant drug compliant take your drugs every day even if you check your blood pressure today and your blood pressure is 126 over 80 something or 70 something please take your medication because you're not going to tell me that you're going to consistently check your blood pressure every two hours or every three hours to see if there is any change before you take your drug don't just keep your drug a whole day simply because you checked your blood pressure that day and it was 120 something or something even if you take your drug what do you think will happen that your blood pressure will become 100 over 50 or what or you'll be hypotensive no be drug compliant take your drug as often as you're supposed to in the right dosage that you're supposed to and refill your medication on time refill your medication on time I know that things are hard the country is hard but i promise you managing hypertension is better than managing complications of hypertension i promise you dialysis is not cheap when when you have when you have ckd go for me no you when people have ckd it, sometimes it needs to maintain like you have to be on maintenance dialysis. some people are lucky they don't necessarily have to be on maintenance dialysis they're just managing the chronic kidney disease conservatively but most people need dialysis and once you start dialysis there are two things that can happen one your kidney picks up or two it gets worse and you know you get the your ckd symptoms worsen and you have to increase the number of times you do dialysis in a week so what am i trying to say take care of your health take um check your blood pressure um check your sugar level you know just screen yourself as often as you can for not just i'm focusing on hypertension right now but not just hypertension for every possible thing you can be screened for screen yourself so that um you know that you're in good health at every given time do you understand so yeah um i saw most of my ckd patients like i said it's like they just rang bell and like the rising mercy and 
I'm actually grateful that I got to take care of most of the patients that I took care of when I was in nephrology. I'm really grateful because some of them I had to be really proactive about. I'm very, I have empathy or I show empathy for any patient I manage or any patient I treat. But you see like patients that I've had like close, close like contact with consistently, I have like double empathy for them. So. I had to be really proactive on these patients sometimes i had to go and get stuff that i needed to do what i do for example if i need to administer a medication to bring down the blood pressure i could i can go to the pharmacy myself and just get it and just administer the drug asap even if i know that oh we don't give drugs here in the hospital i work it's mostly it's the nurses that give medication even i know that oh it's nurses that give medication i try and be as proactive as i can be just you know I don't know, I just a bit of empathy. And the funny thing, my patients know me by name. So whenever they whenever they come, I just know they're going to say they're going to call my name. Um speaking of which I actually need to see one of my patients was moved to the wards, no longer in um, emergency. Once they leave emergency, like we don't really have any business with them. I need to check up on one of my patients. I hope he's doing okay. But yeah, that's what has been happening. I'm about to rest right now. I'm in my bullet because <laughs> I can't gamble this hair. I have to take care of it. And this is the best way to take care of it. Because if I lie down on the coils like that, I don't I don't want to know how it's going to look like tomorrow. Hi guys, it's your favorite baby girl. <laughs> I don't know when I started saying this favorite baby girl thing, but I'm back. And emergency rotation wasn't bad all in all it wasn't as free as i thought it was is going to be because it's alternate day call and you think you think that you have like the next day free but coming back by like 12 1 p.m and you're just flushed and you want to see but anyway it's not so horrible the calls are not so draining because all you have to see all you have to do is see patients that come in um um stabilize them if there is any need to and call the um specialty mtoc or surgical team or call anybody that the patients may need you just call them so that part is not so draining but it's you have to be really fast because the patient load is a lot like it's a whole lot so you have to be very 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 fast but all in all, it wasn't a bad experience. I think it was a nice experience. This wasn't in the initial like structure for house job. It just started like I think in August. Yes, it started sometime in August, and it has continued. Yeah, it started last month and has continued up until now. So I think it's a very good inclusion. I don't know if every um hospital does this um but yeah i think it's a very one week is short but at the same time you can gain quite a few things but yeah all in all it wasn't a bad experience we have come to the end of this journey i've also come to the end of this vlog thank you very much for watching up until this point if you have not subscribed i don't know what you're waiting for i really don't know what you're waiting for hit that subscribe button and also click the notification bell so you can get notified whenever i have new videos on this channel also give this video a like if you learned a thing or two in this video and leave your comments below i'll see you guys in my next one bye Can I convince me he's not on